Well, good afternoon, YouTube. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys can't tell what we're doing today, by the thumbnail and the title, let me just tell you real quick what we have planned. So we're gonna be taking the side-by-side -side over to the shop that I do some work for. We're gonna be actually, hopefully, successfully mounting some clamps right here on this cage, raising it up and putting a roof rack for something pretty cool that I have planned for the side-by-sides. If you guys haven't watched the Utah videos, I put a roof nest on top of my car and we went and camped out and in Swing Arm City and in a few other cool places, but I really didn't get the roof nest for a car. I kind of got it for the side-by-side -side. and today I'm headed over to the shop. I do a little bit of work for you guys may know them, JJ Performance. It's a local exotic and off-road shop here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Carolina. They are going to be hopefully helping me out mounting the roof nest to the top of the side by side. One issue that I've ran into so far, other than my side by side being completely muddy, is that I only ordered one set of mounts for the cage. I need to order a second set. We got to get this thing all finished up so we can go and camp on top of the side by side because I think that is going to be a really cool thing. I'm excited. Since it's street legal, this thing is like literally the perfect overlanding rig. I've got stuff for the back of the side by side as well to carry luggage and extra gas and stuff like that. So, but I'm going to quit talking now and we're gonna head up to the shop and uh, see what we can do today. All right, we just made it to the shop. I'm gonna head in and talk to the guys and see uh, what they think, what their opinion is on building this roof rack for my side by side. Zach's truck looks so sick. Zach's the welder here, and his I love those wheels on his truck. What's up, guys? I'm a menace. Being a menace to society. You filming yourself out there? Oh, I'm filming all myself, yes. Or you have two. I only have two, but I need two more. I gotta order, I'm gonna call them. I imagine, so mount these right here, like this, and then I need something that goes from here up to here about over the roof because the roof is not flat. I need to come back all the way back here and then another set of clamps right here that go up and then match that. So, so you're making a second cage. Yeah, I need uh, like a roof rack kinda. What goes on top? It's a roof nest. I got a roof nest tent. Yeah, where are you gonna put that? Huh? I'm gonna put it on top of here. Yeah, no, what goes in it? You, yourself, your body. <laughs> oh. You sleep in there, you sleep in it. <laughs> yeah, so we go camping on it. Kinda overland it with it. Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right, so. We got it all figured out. Unfortunately, only ordered two clamps and I need four. So we're gonna get those on order. I'm gonna call the guys right now and see if they can like expedite the shipping so we can get this done quick. I need it done this month. I am gonna go and order two more of these and hopefully they get here in time. So kind of on a crunch now, but yeah, this should be really cool. So I'll keep you guys updated. It's been a few days but we have the side-by-side -side in here and we're gonna get started on the roof nest project today. And hopefully this weekend, I'll be able to take it out and use it for the first time. So hope you guys are ready. But I got this thing all washed up last night. Shout out to roof nest for sending this out. It's super sick. I've already used it once, but I'm excited to use it on the side-by-side. -side. I try and find an angle that somewhat follows the roll cage so you're not just sticking up but you also need to have enough clearance for everything when we make that rat that's going to be a fun one bad boy right there all right go out i think you're the only person that's done this before what on a side by side i think so Win. this is a world first are we the world person right now miller the world first and so we got this all mocked up now it's looking pretty sweet this thing looks pretty awesome with the roof nest on top i'll show you guys oh look at that so sweet and it's funny because the actual roof nest emblem matches the can-am now we're gonna wait on zach to get here he is the fabricator here at the shop and uh, we kind of got a template made up for him this is about where the roof rack's gonna sit is right around here so i'm excited to get this all fabbed up today hopefully go on a trip with it this weekend so it's looking awesome so far. Let's, uh, we're gonna go grab some lunch and then get started back on this. Man, the hour's here. What do you think, dude? I think it's coming, buff. You think it's gonna be doable? Everything's doable. It's Ooh. only metal. <laughs> we do it like that, I have to cap both sides, the front and back. 
Or you can just slide all the way down and do the... Yeah, why does that thing so dirty? Why are, are you the judging? Lens? Why are you judging? Why are you judging? It's clear as day. Was my water dirty? I don't know, ask Jake. Is he going to the bottom or Caleb? Yeah. That's why. All they focus on Money, drugs, women, guns, diamonds, blood, strips, words, hey, comes back home. Fuck it, I'ma run it up. They keep telling me to work less and party more. But ain't nothing coming out of my life being dirt poor. Cause I've been broke my whole life, ain't nothing come of it. I've been struggling my whole life, I'm tired of it. But you're too focused on the mother. Money, bro, but you don't know the feeling of having nothing when you're coming up. So when I get it, you're damn right up. All they focus on. All right, so what we're doing here is this kind of sticks off too long down here. All right, so this kind of sits like this. So it kind of leaves a hole right there on the end. So we're gonna cap it with this metal right here. But we have all the cut. We have all the pieces cut. No, nope. except for the, the rear legs. Bars. Oh, the rear legs and the crossbars. Not for the collar clamps. Yep. But we can't do that until we tack, tack in place. So we and then do the plate it. or the cap first. Pull them on here before we board it up, and then we can go to town. It's gonna look good. So we're actually about the plasma cut. The little end caps down there. Never seen a plasma cutter before, so especially not freehand. So see how let's see how this goes. Good job, boys. Nice. Someone pick it up. Uh, you gotta use your tongue. Oh, okay. So now what we're doing is mounting the first arms, the front arms, right? Front arms. Front arms? Yep. To the brackets that I ordered over here. Guys over at Fast Lab UTV sent it out pronto. And uh, I'm excited. They look to be way overkill from what I really need, but I think they're gonna be sweet. They're gonna be perfect. They're gonna hold up real nice. So I'm excited. So let's uh, let's keep on chugging. We got some welding to do, and I'm excited. So unfortunately, first go around. Our angle, the dangle was off. The little angle was a little messed up, but uh, it's all about trial and error. He said so. I think we're gonna be able to get this thing mocked up pretty good tonight. All right, so we have the first side kind of mocked up. It's looking sick. This is about how tall it's gonna sit off the side by side. Once it's moved over, we gotta make this right side now. She'll be looking pretty solid. We have to make some crossbars and we gotta mount this thing up. So I'm pumped. We're about, I'd say about 50% done right now. It's looking awesome. I think this is gonna come out really sick. All right, so we got this one side completely done. So we're now just working on the second side. We're about to tack weld this bar to the back bar the rail bar and then after that we will do the we'll do the back brace for the other side after that and then we'll do the crossbars and i think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take this off after we tack weld it weld it all together and then come back in the morning while it's nice and sunny out tomorrow and paint it and officially put the roof nest on and i'm super excited about that this is going to be a really cool project and i think saturday we're going to go take it for its first adventure so it's looking really good right now it looks super centered over the top so uh, let me show you guys. This looks so cool. Huge shout out to Zach and Jake from uh, JJ Performance for helping me out. And if you guys want to see a little bit of behind the scenes of what we did and how we did it, definitely go check out their channel. It's down in the description. I help them out uh, from time to time. So uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool working for them and doing some stuff over here. Alright, so we are finishing up the front up there. It came a little undone. We're about to weld the bar that goes across to there. But he is finishing up that right front corner. And uh, it's going to look good. And I actually haven't told you guys this, but I've been considering wrapping the side by side. I think I'm going to ditch the red. And I think we're going to go with something a little bit like this. Let me find the wrap. So one of the options is doing this matte charcoal. This color right here, all the places that it's red. So the door will be gray, the back fender and the front fender will be gray, and the hood, the hood I'm considering to be, uh, to be carbon fiber. So we'll see how it looks, I don't know yet. I am getting rid of all the branding for right now and just making it sleek and awesome looking and then put my other wheels back on and it is gonna look so clean. But for now, we're gonna stick with the red. That's gonna get done while I'm out in Big Sky. 
I'm actually headed up to Big Sky later this month to go skiing and exploring Montana with my friends. So if you guys want to see a video like that, leave it down in the comments. Don't know if I will, it'll probably just take a vacation, but guys, what, let me know what you think of the roof rack so far. We have a few more pieces to put together. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back, paint it, mount up the roof nest, and fold it out for the first time. So I'm super stoked. Again, huge thank you and shout out to Roof Nest for making this all possible. I just can't wait to go out and overland on my side by side. Sweet, so what we're doing now is we're mounting these tabs on here, these strip tabs. Mount them right about here. That way the roof nest will just sit down through it and just go in like so that way it doesn't have to slide we don't have to use these whole plants we can just use four of these sit it down on top quick release and it's good to go all right guys we just got the tabs all done jake's a master at it three times in his life he said yeah now all we have to do is brush this out paint it up and then it's going back on the side of side so i hope you guys are ready this is going to be so freaking sick. Been painting the cage outside. Let's see what we got so far. Oh, that looks clean. Look at that. Deal of black paint. Can we touch it? I might give her five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it looks killer. This is tougher than my other cage. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks awesome. So we're gonna mount this up there first. Hold yeah, and then, then set it on. That's going to be heavy. Alright. Here you go, bud. Go camping. There you go. Now you're ready to go over that in there, bud. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at that. Alright, guys. It's finally done. We're pulling it around front now. See what it looks like, dude. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. This looks awesome let's just see what she looks like oh my gosh Armageddon. we freaking did it let's open her up first time send her wide open okay this looks so sick send her open oh we're in here baby pass the camera up dude oh First time in the roof nest. Let's go, this is so dope. We're on top of the side by side right now. Yeah, no, I'm good on that one, bud. It's pretty freaking solid up here. This is awesome. Look at this. What's up, peasants? Oh, you got a moon roof? I got a moon roof in this. I got a sunroof on the roof nest, baby. Here she is in all of its glory. I am super pumped. When I get home, I'll have the, the bars that lift up in the, on the window and the rain guard. But this thing is looking amazing. We made it happen on the side by side. This looks so freaking killer. I'm so happy. Big shout out to Roof Nest and JJ Performance for making this dream come true. We are gonna take my side by side, my Can-Am 2022 X3 DS Turbo RR overlanding. It is street legal. We're gonna do some fun stuff with it. I wanna take it to so many places. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.